Next thing I'm going to discuss is uh, C2 and C4. This is C2, this is C4. So this is our component. Um, capacitors will either have a plus indicator to indicate the positive side uh, for, a pol for a polarized uh, electrolytic cap, or they'll have some sort of a line on one side, or uh, filled in. So in this case, it's, it's filled in black. So we're going to take that, and that's our positive side, that filled in side. We're going to take that component and line that mark with the positive side. And in this case, it's the positive side marked here with a little plus sign. So we're going to set that right on that, those two traces. We're going to add solder to both of these pads. And the reason for that is because this component's underneath does not uh, allow you to get a lot of solder in there. It's hard to uh, apply it later. But we want to make sure it's there. So we're going to apply a small amount on here, a small amount on here. I'm going to line that capacitor up on the positive side. And I'm going to heat just the tip of that metal that's sticking out there and the pad. And it's going to heat up. Put here, putting a little bit of pressure on it. On Don't side. move. Push down on it. Move. The metal tip. Let it cool. I'm going to go back. I'm going to make sure that this is filled in. Now the base of this capacitor is plastic. The capacitor itself is made out of metal, but. Um, so we don't want to overheat that base. That base is there to keep the capacitor from vibrating and moving. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn this board. Give you a better view of the positive side. And heat the pad. Add the solder to the pad. Push the component down. Remove the heat. And let it harden. Okay, so that's C4. So this is VR1. And we're going to take this is a through hole component, and we're going to turn it into a surface mount component. And what I'm going to do, take my th thumbnail, I'm going to bend this over so it sticks straight out. Like over, turn it around, and bend this one out. So now we get a way to surface mount this. You can take and apply a little bit of pressure and help that seat down a little bit. And then we're going to take a pair of clippers, uh, fingernail clippers will work. Um, and we're going to make it fit that pad. So right now there's an excessive amount hanging over. I would say about an eighth needs to be left hanging. Maybe a little more. Okay. So now it looks very similar to that capacitor. And we're going to mount it the same way. We're going to put a little bit of solder on one pad. Start with the middle pad, the odd pad, and that'll help you line up the other two. Okay. Now we need to get these, these variables resistors to be lined up is going to be the three here, so we want to keep them all in this exact same position. I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to show you the other two. Now 
Now you can always get too much solder. If the solder is a ball, there's too much solder on there. And you can always pull it back off with your solder wick. Now, I'm going to go back to my first pad again and just make sure there's enough solder there. Okay. So, another unusual component is R14. It is a round component. We're going to place that curved component onto that flat board. Your iron should always be clean. I'm put a little flux on here. That'll make sure that that flows well. Tweezers, heat the pad and the component, center it on there, let it cool. And we still want that concave, but in a round it's going to be sort of concave and then come around the edges. So you're going to get this curve down like this way, plus the front one. So let me go to the back side and I flow that. Okay. I'm going to come back to the front side. Like that. So let's cover our U2, the regulator. Okay, whenever you're handling uh, chips, um, static sensitive devices, uh, regulators, um, you need to have um, your electrostatic on. So I have an electrostatic wrist strap um, and then my cord, and then this is an electrostatic mat. Uh, substitution um, could be a piece of tin foil that's grounded, um, and then you connect yourself to that tin foil with a wire and we'll slip it underneath your watch band or something. So, this component is actually a through hole component, and we're going to make that fit and solder it down to the board. So we have to bend those legs right here, curve them down, and then out. So right at the right at the junction where they start to get thin, where they would go normally go through the through holes, I'm going to bend that at about a 45, like that. And then I'm going to bend it again, where it would cross, the, you know, come flat to the table. So about there, and we'll pull it back up. So now this flat part here is equal to that flat part, come straight across.